Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we play Would You Rather. That's something I wanted to do for such a long time. So let's go right into it. So the first one is, uh, would you rather be a unicorn or be a wizard? So as you probably know, I'm just crazy about Harry Potter and there is only one thing in this world uh, that I want to be and that's being a wizard. Many people actually agree with that. I'm not even surprised. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in the wizarding world of Harry Potter? I mean, I would do that immediately if I could. Um, yeah, 24% wanted to be a unicorn. Fair enough, but yeah, let's go to the next one. Would you rather be wanted or be needed? Okay, so that's something really philosophical. If you're being needed, somebody relies on you and needs your help. Whereas being wanted, it's like, it's not really somebody is in need of you, but it's, it's more like demanding something of you. What do the comments say? So being wanted is a choice, to be needed is an urge. Yes, yeah, so if, if you're being needed, somebody relies on you. And I think that's something much nicer than being wanted. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, the next one is, would you rather be able to control and talk to machines or be able to produce an unlimited amount of electricity? So, um, I think I can already control machines. I mean, if you're looking at PCs, if you're looking at your smartphone, if you're looking at your, I don't know, uh, fridge at your uh, washing machine, that's all mach machines and you can control them and you can use them. So that's something I can already do and talk to them. I don't know, they are already programmed. So it's not like machines are conscious beings. They are still machines and not human beings if that makes sense so i would rather be able to produce an unlimited amount of electricity because that sounds like i can do something good in the world i could save mother earth so that's what i want to do and i hope that many people agree with that 67 percent well done would you rather always wear clothes you like but everyone else hates or always wear clothes you hate but everybody everyone else loves so uh when i was younger i actually bought the clothes um well others is expected of me i always wanted to be like the popular uh girls in in my class and i just bought these clothes it's not really because i like them but because everyone had them but today i just wear whatever I like and I don't really care what other people think about me so I definitely go with the first one so I I just wear whatever I like because I have to like my clothes and not anybody else so that's uh, what I'm going for oh that's actually uh, quite surprising it's almost a tie so um, yeah I think you should really, it's your life and you should decide what you want to do with it. You're not living to please others, but to just, just do what you like. And that's what's important. Would you rather be hunted by people or hunt people? Um, excuse me, but what does hunting people mean? Does it mean like, am I like hunting as um, I'm going to hunt them and then eat them? Or is it? I don't really understand the question, like, what is this hunting about? Is it like, I don't know. Uh, so if I had to choose, I don't know, if, is it being hunted or to hunt people? I don't know. I think I'd rather be hunted because I don't really like hunting others. So, oh, okay, that's only 16%. Um, that was really a strange question. Let's go to the next one. Okay, would you rather get punched in the mouth with a mouthful of razor blades or get punched in the mouth with a mouthful of needles? Okay, um, what's worse here? So, a mouthful of razor blades or mouthful of needles? I think both is equally bad, so... I don't know. I don't know what's better. I think I, I, I should go with the needles because razor blades is even worse than that. Okay, would you rather have huge arms and weak legs or have huge legs and weak arms? So, uh, I don't know if uh, Never Skip Leg Day applies here, but I think both look really strange. Just imagine you have like really thick and big arms, but your, your legs are just really, really small. That looks just, mm, I don't know. 
It looks really strange, but having huge legs and weak arms also uh, doesn't look that good. Okay, he or she is talking about ants, so I don't know what ants is. Uh, let's go with this one. I, I don't know, it's both awful. Would you rather have to eat tree bark for one meal a day or have to pour cold milk over everything you eat? So I can't imagine that tree bark uh, tastes any good. And I don't know, but I mean, just imagine you eat, I don't know. But at the same time, if you're eating a soup and then add uh, cold milk to it, I can't imagine that it's that bad. But if you're eating, I don't know, a steak or something, like a really good steak and then you pour milk over it. Oh my gosh, that sounds so horrible. But if you know that you have to do that, you just have to take care of what you're eating. So if I eat soup every day, it could actually taste good, I suppose. So I'm not going, um, I'm not going to eat tree bark because that's, that's horrendous. So let's go for the right one. Okay, that's also almost a tie, so um, cereal all day, every day, yeah. Okay, that's true. Um, would you rather only be able to meow yet live nine lives or be able to talk and live once? So would I, basically, do I want to be a cat in a human body or be just like what I am today, a human in a human body? Um, I actually like talking to people and I like a uh, conversation and I mean not being able to talk is something I can't really imagine and um, I mean nine lives sounds good but even if I have nine lives I can't live up to a to 500 years or something so I want to be able to talk and live once and yeah I think that's what I'm going for and most people agree with me. All right. <laughs> uh, would you rather live in a penthouse in LA or live in a townhouse in London? Okay. I think that is so obvious. Okay. I really want to go to LA one day. I'd really love to. But, you know, London is just... I love London so much. I wish... If I could... I don't know. I would have moved there five years ago. So I love London. I want to live there. I want to move there by the end of this year. So I'm definitely going uh, to live in a townhouse in London. So that's for sure. Excuse me, please. Why would you say that? No, I can imagine most or many people want to live or go to the US and LA is a nice place for sure. And uh, yeah. But it's not really for me. I mean, I've never been to the US and I can't imagine living in a country I've never been to. So, I don't know. Okay, if you had to choose a school for seven years, would you rather attend Hogwarts, attend Savior School for Gifted Youngsters? Okay, why, why are there so many Harry Potter related questions? Okay, that one is so obvious and um, I don't really have to explain it, I think. So, I would like to attend Hogwarts. And that's uh, 59%. I don't even know what the other uh, the other thing is. I've never heard that before. Okay. Would you rather not be able to stop being serious or not be able to stop joking? So the problem is if you um, are not able to stop joking, people will never take you seriously. And um, if you're always being serious, I know you're not really emotional. And But I think that's, I think that's much better than... Uh, joking all the time because jokes jokes can be funny and all that but it's sometimes it's not really appropriate and um, it could get you in horrible situations so um, I just I'd rather be serious all the time okay the next one would you would you rather eat moldy toast one slice or eat moldy grapes a small bunch so um, actually a few weeks ago I ate some bread and after that I realized that it was a bit moldy and I still live so I think I'll just go with moldy toast. When you eat when you eat moldy toast you don't really notice that. I th oh, okay it depends on how moldy it is but the one I ate just had like the, the tiniest bit and that's why I only realized it afterwards because it was so small and yeah I still live so 
I'll just eat the moldy toast. Would you rather be disemboweled by a Japanese sushi chef and served on a platter to Justin Bieber or run through a pride of starving lions wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress? Um, I don't want to be eaten alive by starving lions. I think that's really painful. Um, so yeah, I'll just go for the left one. It sounds, both sounds horrible, but the left one is, I, I think, the tiniest bit better, so yeah. Excuse me, why would you want to be eaten by starving lions? I mean, what? If you were on a safari, would you rather have your foot stepped on by an elephant or have your foot bitten by a lion? So if, if an elephant steps on your foot, uh, there's not much left of your foot. So thing is, it doesn't say how much the lion eats of your foot. So depending on what the lion does, let's say the lion just bites in your foot once, you can still go to hospital and get surgery and all will be fine after that. It really depends. So I think uh, you still have a chance if you're if your foot is bitten by a lion, like you can, the foot can still be safe. So I think that is, um, I think that's what I prefer. Okay, uh, what do you, the comments say? At least you have a chance to salvage your foot if it gets bitten by a lion. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going for. Would you rather light your hands on fire for a minute or light your feet on fire for a minute? Um, actually, uh, fire or Burn, uh, burn skin is the worst pain you can possibly imagine. I have experience with that and I basically burned my whole arm so uh, I was going through horrible pain. So the problem about this is it depends what is more uh, sensitive to pain, your hands or your feet. The thing is you have to stand on your feet so I can imagine that st just standing itself is really painful but at the same time I know that you feel so much pain in your arms or in your hands or on your hands so I can't really choose um, so I think I would rather lie to my feet I, I can't I can't tell okay would you rather never eat pizza again or never drink another soda um, oh my gosh I don't know I'm actually not that addicted to pizza or to soda because I actually only drink water I really, I only drink water. I only drink soda when I'm not at home, when I'm invited somewhere, when I'm at work, but I really never drink soda at home. So I always drink water anyway, and I don't eat that much pizza, maybe once or twice a month. I don't know. I think I'd rather never eat pizza again. Would you rather know the exact time and place of your own death or know the exact time and place of death of everyone around you. So the thing is I really don't know when and how I will die because if I know that I'm going to die in three weeks then I'm going to be, I don't know, I'm going to be so anxious all the time and I'm just, I don't know, I don't think um, knowing my own death will uh, give me any joy. I think I will constantly live in fear but at the same time if I knew that I had only I don't know two two weeks left to live then I'd I think I'd live my life to the fullest I'd do all the things I always wanted to do but um yeah that's really complicated and uh knowing the exact time and place of death of everyone around you I don't know it would prepare me of the deaths but I also wouldn't like to know it, but knowing my own death is even worse, I believe. So if I know the time and place of death of everyone around me, then I'd, I could warn them if I wanted to, or I could just let them live their lives in peace. Um, I, think that's, I think that's something I could live with rather than knowing my own death. Okay, that was something really deep. That was such a deep question. I mean, whoa! Would you rather freeze to death in the Arctic or burn to death in, in the desert? Um, I actually didn't know that you could burn to death in the desert. Um, I think you would die of thirst and not of, I don't know, you wouldn't uh, burn to death. That's something, uh, yeah, but I mean, 
both is equally bad. So I think we should end it here. I don't know, the questions got really deep, really dark <laughs> so quickly. Um, would you rather freeze to death in the Arctic or burn to death in the desert? Uh, I will let you answer that. Answer or Write your comments down in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, then please let me know. I actually had a lot of fun doing it and I think I will do another one. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and we will see each other in the next one. Bye, guys.